Good morning. Please sit down. Uh, welcome to my weekly press conference. Please excuse the noise in the background. That's the sound of uh, the Giants reorganization trying to rebuild. I'm so pleased to be here. What a pleasure it is to address all you sports writers so I can relive the fucking horror of this season and last week. I hope you all get crotch rot in your nostrils. First, let me make a prepared statement. This past Sunday was one of the most embarrassing days I've had in my 40 plus years with the Giants in the capacity of Grand Exalted Puba of Football Aparish. I don't want to say anybody quit on a team, but I saw some things that made me very unhappy. Let's just say that. If you're going to collect the paycheck, then you have to give it 100% when you're on the field. Because not giving your all is like a whore who got her money, and then just before you're about to unload on her forehead, she gets up and walks out. So I've asked my players to please not be whores who get up and leave before taking a load on their foreheads. I've seen some fucked up shit with this team through the years. I remember 1974, we went 2-12. and 12. I remember Joe Pisarczyk. I remember Tucker Fredrickson who was so slow on a snap, you're going to go piss and be back just as he was hitting the hole. I remember Spider Lockhart, a bright spot. I remember John Mendenhall getting triple teamed and still getting a sack. Ah, yes. I remember the horror of playing at the Yale Bowl. Whew. I remember all those years in the Bronx at Yankee Stadium. Man, those are the best of times. Getting a hero at Blimpies and having a thermos with hot chocolate and sitting in Section 22, freezing my ass off, trying to see around the fucking steel columns that blocked everything. This year has been very, very tough. I understand how the fans feel. I, uh... We aren't just bad right now. We, we are so bad that if we were vaginas, we would smell like tuna fish in a porta potty on a hot summer day. We are so bad right now that we would be a legless flamingo dancer. We are so bad right now that if we were baking a cake, the frosting would be shit. My mother-in-law is not giving her pick today. She is not going to mybookie.ag and is not putting in the promo code, capital B-I-C. I asked her, Ma, aren't you going to pick something today? She said, eh, hey, no, fuck them and the coolie. By the way, for these press conferences only, the promo code is V-I-C, capital V-I-C, 50. That's V-I-C, 5-0. Right, like Hawaii, five zero. except instead of Hawaii, it's, it's Vic. I mean, like, this couldn't get more complicated. Hey, hey, look, guys, bet if you want. Don't bet if you don't want. You know what I want? Blow me. That's what I want. Look, the bottom line is I was mortified that we lost to an 0-9 team. Any given Sunday, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you played the game, you would get it. I mean, these guys on both sides of the field are professionals, okay? And one guy can have a good day, the other guy can have a bad day, and bada beep, bada boop, bada pop, bada beep. Before you know it, you're in San Francisco getting your ass kicked by a bunch of third grade lady boys in wheelchairs. I had a call with the Mara family Monday morning when we returned, okay? That was not pretty. But thank God they were half in a bag at 9 a.m. So within five minutes, we were talking about 401ks, uh, bourbon, and estates for sale in the Hamptons. McAdoo is not being fired as far as I know, okay? No one is getting fired as far as I know, okay? We will prepare for Kansas City like we would any other game, okay? We are 1-8, and, and we have seven tough games left. We are like baby deer on the highway, and the rest of our schedule is like the trucks coming down the road. It doesn't look pretty. 
And that's that. I got no injury report. I got no gossip for you jerk-offs. I got a team that is one and eight and plays like a box of pus-filled cupcakes. I got some guys who are giving it 100%, and I got some guys who might not be giving it 101%. I have a hemorrhoid the size of a fucking cinder block from all this stress. But guess what? I will still stand behind these guys. I just will. I have my whole life. So get the fuck out of my locker room now. I'll see you on the field at practice. Don't ask stupid questions, and I won't kick you in the nuts. Simple rules, right? Okay. I'm done. Go Big Blue. Get out of my way. Fuck out of my way.